Hey, what's up, it's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. The old phone died, so I apologize again for the boop audio. Don't kill me, and don't click out. Because thanks to Dominic in the UK, we have Deicide Legion to talk about. Now, I was surprised a couple weeks ago by the DSI self-titled on cassette showing up as well from Dominic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And both are, you know, the OG... But 1992, DSI Legion. Oh my goodness. Now, according to Glenn, there's no harmonizer on his vocals. So, for all of his vocal critics, suffer. He has a little thank you list. But to me, I fucking love Legion. It's one of those death metal records that it's just never once sounded stale, boring. I've never gotten tired of it. Same with the first three and technically four Deicide records. I've never gotten bored of them. They always hold up. Like, I was going to pull the trigger on the DSI tape box set, but now I just want to get Once Upon the Cross, the Amon Festering the Beast demo compilation on tape, and uh, Surfers of the Light on tape. And I'm good. But the 9 LP DSI box set for 239, it's worth it. But at the same time, like I almost have all my favorite DSI material on cassette. So I don't know. We'll see. One day, maybe I would love to get that vinyl box set. But like Satan spawned the Kaka Demon. Dead but dreaming, repent to die, trifixation, behead the prophet, no lord shall live, holy deception, and hell I burn, and replicate the agitator, the agitator. Like, these songs, together with, like, sacrificial, um, dead by dawn, lunatic of God's creation, oblivious to evil, like, yeah. That's all you really need. And that's like a perfect deicide set. But here, you know, you also have just such evil sounding riffs and even like evil sounding guitar solos like that remind me kind of of like Slayer Hella Waits. Like just that kind of like very ferocious like just sick sounding and if you're a DSI fan you obviously love this record what I you know this is something that I just kind of you know if you don't know DSI and you want to get into a good conversation slash argument with a fellow DSI fan Here's all you have to do. Just argue what's a better record. Deicide Self-Titled or Deicide Legion. And you can't throw in. So no, no, no demo shit. Just these two records. And I guarantee one of you likes Legion just a little bit more than the self-titled. 
I don't know. It's just one of those things I've noticed throughout my life. Like I'm I'm, I'm an old man now. I'm, I'm technically a geezer, 38. And you know, there's plenty of people I talk to that just swear by this record. To them, this is the epitome of death metal. It doesn't get more death than Deicide self-titled. Like I'm not even joking. Like there's people that you know, think that is, like I said, the end-all, be-all of of death metal. And it might be, you know, like to some. But I personally, if I had to choose on a desert island, I'm probably going to go with Legion. Although I've listened to Legion a lot more probably in my life then the self-titled, when I used to have one of those Roadrunner, like the double CDs, if I'm remembering correctly, I had the, the Roadrunner CDs, I had the original tapes, which I got from my brick and mortar, and then I had like uh, just separate copies of Once Upon the Cross, Serpents of the Light, and then... When Jack Owen joined after his failed country music career, I think it was. No offense, but like, come on. You left Cannibal Corpse to start a country western. Or it was either that or like some, you know, like headstrong type nonsense. It was some boot, like, I don't know. Nothing that had to do with death metal, so... When I saw that Jack kind of came crawling back to death metal with Deicide, but he kind of breathed life back into Deicide on Scars of the Crucifix. But that's where I stopped. Because I have men I mentioned it in the self-titled video. Once the song titles started getting to, like, Mad at God, it was just like, alright. Like... I'll stick the vital remains, de-Christianize, scars of the crucifix. If I want, like, that... And I know vital remains is way different sounding musically than Deicide. Way more epic and whatnot. But, like, Glenn's vocal performance is fucking great. But on Legion, he legit sounds like a fucking demon. And it's awesome. Like, he has his signature Glenn Benton bark, and it's great. It just sounds a lot more, like, refined and kind of more pissed off than on the self-titled. And knowing, well, hoping, I'm personally hoping that anger is going towards Christ just to make the music more fucking evil. But you never know, so I'm just hoping that's where his mind was at. But when it comes to Deicide... You can't go wrong with the first four records and the demo stuff from Amon. But, again, what's a better album? I, again, I'm not going to start that argument. You folks can do that in the comments. But I'm going to choose Legion just because it's been a minute. But also, I forgot how good this is. Like, I've been listening to it. Like, I was on my fourth playthrough, like, yesterday, and I was like, all right, like, because I only listened to this, like, twice so far since I got it on tape, but, like, I just was like, oh, my God, I forgot. Like, I, I rewound the A-side, like, twice, and just listened to the A-side back-to-back because it's so good. I do the same with the self-titled, though, when I listen to it. I love the A-side so much. That's why I kind of want to get these on vinyl eventually. But Legion by Deicide, 1992, death metal classic. If you're a fan of evil and classic Floridian death metal, you can't go wrong with the mighty Deicide. And one of the most classic metal, one of the most classic death metal records in the history of the genre, Legion, 
on Roadrunner slash Road Racer Records. I'm not sure in 92 if they were Roadrunner yet. It looks like they were Roadrunner. But this is a UK copy. So I don't really know. So don't kill me if I was wrong. But listen to Deicide. Kiss the Goat. Thank you, Dominic. Some of the sickest viewer mail ever, every time. But thank you, Maniacs at home for watching. You fucking rule, especially the Patreon account. Wow. Hails. <laughs>